guys got filled us through here with a uh, scrub pub matchup between got Mr. Clean playing the Spirit Breaker, got Adam playing the Weaver, got Big Jenks on the Invoker trying hard. I'm not sure if this is ranked or not. We've got J Stone Dota on the Marana and Pretty Boy on the Pudge. I'm pretty sure Pretty Boy picked Pudge first, so there's probably an argument over this. I'm not sure. And then on Dire we got some stupid fucks with like I don't know, I see okay, this guy's an EG fan, he's not too bad then. I don't know, these guys are probably scrub as shit. Shadow Shaman hasn't even bought items yet. Hasn't even bought items. So I think I can go. Yeah. Let's take a look here. We got an early rotation top from uh, the Marana Pudge, the classic level one Marana Pudge in Invoker Rome. So I wonder if. Ooh, they could kill the Sven without a quell or without a stout shield. We got an observer ward from Cottle here. We got an early observer ward from Radiant, so they know. Looks like Jason's about to land one of his patented rune arrows, followed up by I don't know what you'd go. You might want to hook him, although you okay, we got a sunstrike, so it'd be a sunstrike into I would assume a hook. I, I think they'd try a hook. Could try a rot. Might be afraid. I'd probably try running up there and rotting. Got Adam with a old Wraith band into a Tango. I generally like to go some sort of mana regen playing a Weaver. You know, get your like get your Ring of Protection and get like a you know eventually get the Ring of Aquila, but start off with the Ring of Basilius. Oh, we got Clean with a Mango Salve and Tangos. Got pretty boy hiding. Oh, the classic arrow. Oh my god. See, oh, the sun strike combos. Yeah, he's rotting. There it is. Oh, it's just stay stunned out. I mean, it's just, I think you gotta hashtag it at that point. Let's see if he does. He doesn't necessarily do it. See, we got a invoker versus. I'd probably just ship a freaking clarity out to you at that point. Should be a uh, yeah, pretty even lane, right? Because you can just cold snap the fucking yeah, easy. Just cold snap it and get rid of that immediately. And that should be a pretty even lane. We've got a dire ward on mid, catching any sort of Marana gank. This is a Pudge Marana off lane, the skill shot lane. The Pudge farming is interesting. This tri lane's probably gonna get some uh get some music going here. Oh shit. Going up. Oh, oh, they're already used. Pudge down. Marana soon to follow. Let's turn some music on here. Get a level two for the Marana, which is a leap, which is all right. So we got the bristle back down here. <clears throat> so I guess you could just be relying on wand if you're Weaver. Just getting, but I mean, I think you want to go Basilius pretty early. Maybe not. This bristle should be able to get farmed though. I would love this lane. Just get try to farm and get he's getting a treads first. Probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably get like a ring of health as soon as possible. Screw boots. What do you need boots for? Who cares about boots. Got clean, getting some farm efficiency pulling. And dragging the creeps under tower. Adam. Is he getting this 
syringe yeah, is gonna. So I gotta watch stacking this up here with the espresso bag. He is level 30, so he can definitely farm this. Maybe he's gonna use all of his mana farming the smaller ones. This is actually pretty good for them. But then again, Weaver's probably gonna die here. Now they're good. Got some action up the top. Oh, going on the punch again. Got Rasta netting the Marana. Oh, pretty boy with the jukes. They don't know where he went. Chase down gets the Rasta. Chase down go back into die though. No, maybe not. It's uh, hype. That's hype. Sven out of mana, but he's got a coddle. Stupid shit. Janks. Oh, let's see some last hits here. I don't know what I'm doing. Janks. Ooh, that is scary. That's very scary. He's got an invis bottle, too. He's probably got some shit coming up to him. Boots and a TP. He's gonna maybe TP for a gank, I wonder. Does he do it? Pretty try hard TA if he TPs for a gank. I mean, he's got an Invis bottle, right? But. No, he's not. Yeah. That'd probably be inefficient. I mean, I guess that wouldn't be try hard. Just be bad. We've got a smoked pudge mid. Victor. Oh, the hook. The combo plays from Radiant. We're just, they're not quite there. <laughs> they definitely almost had it. They were revealed by the Dire Ward right here. So that's pretty big. Got the tri lane up here. Currently have a, only a one gold, 1k gold lead. Adam getting some early, early good farm here. It's not purchased items yet. Probably not being the most efficient. I mean, you generally want to... I personally would have... Like, so you start off with the Ring of Basilius. And then you get the Ring of Health. And that's health and mana regen. Like, if you got a lane like this. And you just, you know, poke around. Eventually you get your treads. And then, like, after you get that, you get your treads. Ring of Aquila. And then your full wand. Now you're tanky. And you got regen. And you've just been farming the whole time. I love doing that on a safe lane weaver. And like the bristleback won't ever harass you out. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Adam. That's what I'm talking about, dog. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. He's just, oh, keep using your quills, buddy. And then you just keep recharging the wand. Six wand charges. So bot seems to be going all right for Radiant sure what their team name would be if it were these five together probably I don't know what to think about that Jenks is not having a good time see now if Radiant really cared about their mid player they would have ganked already even though it's a difficult gank I guess I guess Victor did. Pretty boy. Oh, big kills, big kills. And the Weaver even gets it. That is just like a... Oh, he applauses his own death. There's a rarity, the carry getting the kill. Oh my god. Look at that, he's got a thousand gold here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Just thinking about it, he's got nothing in quick buy. Got nothing but thousand gold, nothing quick buy. Does he go Midas? Doesn't seem like Adam's style. Might go uh, Treads. Treads would probably be pretty good. I mean, a wand would be really nice, right? Get uh, get 15 charges. What does he do? What you doing, Adam? What you doing, buddy? 1,241 gold. Oh, he finishes the Perseverance. It's pretty weak. I mean, I guess you could do your mana regen now. Oh, up top we got, or mid, we got Jank Stein. TA going down as well, though. 
the Bristleback once again applauding. So he's having a lot of fun this game, apparently. I would assume that's what the applause means. Victor getting some much needed levels mid. Let's see if his hooks can live up to the one and only chase down down it. Arrows, a couple of arrows have been on point. The level three in Star Storm. <coughs> so that damage can be done. Farm. All three of those creeps are had. Not worth it being accumulated. Jason's actually getting some getting some farm. Radiant is still somehow only 1k gold down. Even though the creep hits would guess we can go net worth now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the combo plays. The safety ulti from the Marana to follow up the charge is no damage. It's very little damage there. Jstone does not have the required 160 mana. The punch hook was not quite there either. So, you know. It's not quite there. They're getting there. Big, big follow-up arrow, big follow-up arrow, not quite there either, splits the upgrades, so it's kind of expected. Oh, the setup, but that's just a bait. The Sven gets hooked, but that's not what's going on. The Rasta gets dove and slaughtered. Oh, that's not the, that's not the jump, Justin. Oh, he gets bashed, though! Jason with the kites in the trees. Oh my god, the jukes, the charge from clean and just clean with the crowd control there is just that's what he does man it's just just, it's just a spirit breaker finding kills you know, going about his business looking for another charge does he choose to charge the TA is the question Ooh, we've got a pudge looking for another gank oh he hooks him in oh pretty boy with the hooks oh the fucking cold snap into the charge that's what we call the janks right there. Those are, those are, we're getting there. We're getting, they're not quite the big janks, but we're getting to the moderately sized janks. Those are, those are adequate janks for this point in the game. Sven disconnects. Feed, feed, feed. They're pausing for him. Now, <laughs> a name like that leads you to believe that they're prone to disconnecting. But since this is a five stack, I would assume we're good. We've got Pretty Boy drawing on the map here. Most likely declaring that there's some vision down there, I would assume. He's not down there. Or maybe he thinks they're down there. Although there's not much of a gank threat from a Rasta, a Coddle, and a Bristleback. I mean, well, you see Bristleback. Rasta's level 4, 10 minutes. It's definitely not good. Going the 2 and 2 build. <coughs> Keep that standard now that Shackles does damage. Oh, the TA. Oh, man. Is this kid raging? Is this kid really raging? 2, 3, and 1. He's not raging. Why are they unpausing? What the fuck? TA TPing back in mid. Dyer has unpaused on um, their Sven. I don't think he died. Now they've repaused. TA could be a. This could be ranked. It's 3 2. Could be unranked 4 1. We are 5 stack. There have been a decent amount of pauses. Ooh, Tranquil Boots on the Shadow Shaman. I don't know. And I feel like if you go soaring, like you are basically a walking Mass Serpent Ward every time it's up. So what you could do is you could basically get your Tranquils and then get a Soul Ring. Even though Soul Ring's almost a energy booster anyway. Uh, the TA. There's no time. Oh, it's really just gonna be like this, man. Boring. TA's doing alright. 
Sven is... I mean, Jenks is definitely not farming well here. He's probably going to go Midas, I would assume. So he's saving up for. Makes sense to catch up. Pretty boy with the level 6 gank. Love when you get that level 6 on Zippage. The magic wand and the observers. Let's see what Bristleback. Bristleback's doing all right here. Weaver's doing all right. I bet he's regretting not having his treads. Wonder if he would would have went treads here. How much? we'd be making. Like I feel like at this point with this same amount of farm you could have your ring of health, blightstone, full ring of Aquila, wand, treads, right? Because you have 360, yeah, essentially. Oh, Sven's back. We're back at it. Nice. We've got a Marana looking on the prowl. J Stone Dota goes for the arrow. Oh my god, the noob just walks into it. Look at that. Approaches from behind. So the Rasta, who's like, this is Rasta's screen right now, right? He's looking f down here. And boom, he just gets hit by an arrow right there. Classic, classic J Stone Dota arrows. <laughs> Got clean down here looking for his little six, almost there. Almost there. Stay on target. I wonder if I can. Is there an option to. That would be trippy. I don't know if I could not do it with a mouse curtain. Yeah, there's no way you can not have your mouse cursor shot. Uh, I've been going into the charge. Jaystone, meanwhile, with another kill on the roster, is now officially feeding. We've got Adam on the Weaver, not wanting to dive. I'd probably use a time lapse for that. Might as well, just free cheese, keep pushing. And I guess you have the wand. You're almost there anyway. Not that much damage. Easy tower top though. This lane has sufficiently been destroyed. <coughs> Another useless fucking coddle in the laning phase. Sven, though, coming back with a vengeance. Uh, the Marana ulti. Mr. Clean coming in, counter engage. Not sure diving a Sven ulti under tower is worth it, but there is no tower anymore because J Stone finishes it off. Oh, uh, and they get out scot free. Oh, uh, the Peruvians are fucking angry. What else is new? Good god. Fucking Spanish rage in my. Pubs. Bendejo. Not even exaggerating. Rasta, meanwhile, is level 6, wants to get the tower, is telling his bristleback to just start spamming his quills, which he should have been doing the whole time to push and just drop wards. Decides instead to go get a haste room. Coming back for a gank, maybe. Adam with the. Clutch map awareness. S clean pinging out a Rasta here. I don't even know, is this how people, how do people spectate and drag it along? Is there a hero? Is there a hero center? Sven's farming away. This Sven's gonna get out of control. So we're seeing at TI can just click the buttons that are easy as shit to click and dominate. At least there's no winter women in this fucking game. Oh, big fight down bottom. Wards drop. Net on a charge spirit breaker. Nothing. Ooh. Oh, big hook! Follow up hook does not quite land. Almost there. J Stone coming in for an arrow though. Wants to one up Pretty Boy's hook. The arrow is not there either. And no mana for 
The Star Storm, oh my god. We're gonna follow this a little bit better here, guys. Adam with a crucial kill there. No hook again! Oh my god, it's so close. But the dismember's there. Pick that button, Sunstrike coming in. Getting the Bristle. Bristle's gonna be going down, but where's the f Oh, the Weaver had a chance there. Still has ulti up. What? How do you go through a fight without using ulti? Come on, Adam, you're better than that, dog. You gotta use that ulti, man. Get, get the 400 health back. We've got clean, clean charge back in. Doesn't do charge because both other heroes here don't have any health. I'm telling him that right now. Clean upset because he wants to kill because he's a angry cow dude who just wants to kill. So he's looking for it now. Space created from the pudge. Pudge did not die though. Oh, they're saying space created for the invoker tower. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Ketchup Midas has been purchased. Three of the top four net worth are now on Radiant. <coughs> Ooh. Good old Invoker. QQWRV. Invoke co -walk, Ghost Walk and get the fuck out of Dodge. Got some Dust of Appearance on the Ross. What ward situation? We have two Dire Wards. Zero. Oh no, we got one radiant war that's about to expire. I'm radiant. It's not very surprising at all. Got two observers and two sentry down for dire. We've got J Stone. See support. He's kind of half support, right? No wards in his inventory. Let's take a look at our uh, spear breaker. We've got Mr. Clean with an observer and a sentry. Hardly expect the Spirit Breaker to play 5 support. Not sure if that was the agreed upon. Oh, we've got a Pudge shipping in, so apparently Jason's taking over farming. Good luck. With uh, the pretty boy Pudge purchasing wards. Not sure out of necessity or if it was planned. Got Coddle Bristle back. See, I. Why? Oh, shit. Why they didn't run the classic Coddle Bristleback off lane is beyond me. We got the Pudge. Oh man, I gotta start looking. Looking at this level. Oh, they're surrounding the Pudge. Surrounding the Pudge. They're going on him. Oh, he wisely keeps these away. What a player. Oh, the attack was in motion. Wait, we don't see that, right? Does it still j disjoint? Nope. Oh my god. Okay, so Radiant are just giving up the bottom tier one to Dire, no contest. Got J-Stone looking for a hook. I feel like there's too many people trying to do the same thing. There's three people trying to just go for kills. Mana, not dying. Spend ulti. Spend using ulti, which is pretty fucking stupid. Oh, uh, but Mana dying to the Bristleback. Going for a spiteful arrow or something, maybe an ulti. Creating space for the invoker to farm. Invoker always a farm intensive hero. You uh, get that farm back later on. Oh, the furious pings from Rasta coming out. Rasta wants to defend. We've got a coddle <laughs> doing coddle things. What a fucking worthless hero! You stupid fucking hero! Just click mad on yourself. Click fucking, look at that, click mana leak on someone, you don't have a stun, so you can just do that. You know, silence, so you can just do that as well. If he has wand charges, which he does, you can just wand and TP out. Then you need to do that. Oh, Radiant's coming back in though, they want to fight. We want to fight here, let's, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, that's a few right here. They're out. It's done. I wonder if I can like... Oh, that's what the... Ah. That doesn't seem like that's what people do. Seems a little too clunky. I don't know how observers get it to be smooth. Uh, the charge in on the coddle, killing the worthless coddle. No stun, no blink, no tankiness. 
Rasta coming in to die as well. Oh, the hook lands into the air. The classic combo coming through in dividends, or paying in dividends. Got a TA with Deso still. Almost blink dagger. That blink dagger is about to shit all over Radiant, I feel like. This Weaver can get away. Spirit Breaker can get away if he's quick enough. Charging in bottom, getting that XP. Boom. Got a 2k gold and a 4k XP lead for Radiant. Which is not too bad. Not sure, I think they, the clock is... I think both teams will go equally as far. The reason I say that is because you have wow. whoa, crazy wow coming through. It's because you have the Weaver on Radiant. You have Invoker, one of the best late game heroes in the game, presumably. Assuming the Invoker can land. Jinx, Jinx can do all right. Got a oh big hook on the Coddle, feeding the Pudge the Flesh Heap. Now 12 stacks. Brings me to that next point. You got the Pudge, who's one of the best late game heroes in the game because there's nothing worse than trying to push high ground against the hook. Oh, we've got to charge in. Into the arrow combo, into the sun strike combo, into the ulti. See, you pick the stuns, you pick the damage, and then you use them. And that's what Radiant just did there. Setting up kills with the Spirit Breaker into the sun strike. Classic combo. You got follow up stun with the Maran arrow. Got some damage here. I'm not really sure what Adam's doing on this Weaver. I guess it kind of makes sense. I'm not a big fan of the Dragon Lance just because it is just. Uh, I don't, in my opinion, you're not like. I don't know. You're, you're kind of trying to stay on the edge when you attack people. I hope we got a big fight coming in charge. We got a. Oh, we got shit happening in two different spots. That's crazy. Probably don't want to zoom out that much. So, Ross and Coddle died instantly because they're fucking worthless, squishy supports. Right? And Wild Arrow from Jason, not sure where that was going. Sad Trombone from the Bristleback, perfect. Perfect for that. Got a Crybaby, there seems to be descent among the ranks in Dire, which is not surprising considering how this game is going. But, I mean, you, you might as well get your Lincolns there. Especially against this team, right? Like, a mana leak. This stupid fucking ability. A mana leak on a Weaver can just ruin your day. You go a little bit too far. I mean, once you get 18, I guess he's almost 18. But, I mean, there's a lot of shit there that mana leak, or that Lincolns will help you stop. We got Jay Stone looking for kills. Let's see who he tries to solo kill here. Getting the coddle. Oh my god. Oh, a sneaky bounty rune. So he ults to get the bounty rune. It's okay, it's okay. Goes by a dire observer ward. Clean with the haste. This is the classic get it, pick up a haste, and then die because you have a haste and you think you're invincible. That's what I do all the time. Ooh, we've got Pudge. Oh, dismember into the arrow. Oh my god, the classic combo. And Dyer wisely disengaging. We've got Adam wanting to pursue. He's pursuing, but he really can't do anything, right? Because there's always that threat right there of that, of turning on him. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on there. So, got the Blightstone. I would assume he's going to finish his Deso. Really don't want him to go four staff here. If he finishes off his Dragonlance, or not Dragonlance, the Hurricane Pike, that'd be pretty silly in my opinion. I think you gotta just outright buy the Lincolns or the Desolator here. Uh, net worth 5k advantage for Radiant. Oh, the charge into the immediate hex, hook into the. Oh, and he, he blinked because the hook damage was blocked by refraction. So it could blink. No dismember, unfortunately. 
Oh, but he can get him this time. He gets him this time. Hook into the dismember on the TA. Oh, the war trap, but the arrow's there to drop the TA. Pudge goes down, but he gets a flesh sheep stack for sure. We've somehow got a fight all the way up at top tier one. Not sure how. We've got the spirit breaker there. We've got three dire heroes chasing J Stone. J Stone is still gonna try to get some get some action here. Not sure why he sees this. He sees this as a radiant war. Oh my god, he goes in for the fucking bounty rune. What kind of stupid ass play is that? Fucking <laughs> what he saw this. Let me reiterate. J Stone saw everything here. Can I zoom in on the ward? Is there a cinematic view for the ward? I he saw it. He saw everything here. He saw all three of the heroes. He saw the Rasta sitting right here. He may not have saw the Rasta. I think he saw the Rasta. He saw the Coddle. Was he over here? And the Bristleback. And J Stone being over here completely free of them. He knows because they haven't reacted yet. He's completely free of them. Could have just, you know, TP'd or gone down here. He's 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 by their tier two, by the enemy tier two. He decides to leap into the bounty rune to try to snag a bounty rune for a guy who's standing on top of it and hope that he gets away. That's where the coddle was. He was on. <laughs> oh, what a dumbass play. It's pretty funny though. Shit happens. <laughs> Got Jenks currently sitting top of the net worth. And might as well have cool down to see if he's uh, efficient in his Midas usage. Oh my god, he farms. No, he doesn't do it. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. It was only about a second there. One, one right click, but I'll let that slide. Got Victor looking for the set up stout shield mango in the just for when you need it it's not too bad i mean he's got 732 but you never know when some extra could be useful there's just no point selling it if you don't need to oh jank's trying to go on the ta here does not look like he's winning that fight jank's going down to the ta highest net worth going down 484 not good at all Wow, we've got a Spirit Breaker <laughs> Armlet Rush. I like it. That's pretty okay. Let's see. It's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty, honestly, if you think about it, he's probably saying he's not going to have any mana anyway, because I'm pretty sure he hasn't, because the Coddle leak every time has gone on him. So, what do you do when you don't have mana? You can sit there and armlet toggle. I think it's legit. We'll see. A lot of people go Echo Saber on him for the double hit. Slow. Oh. Oh, this TA kill would be huge. Oh, he blinks into it. Oh. Oh, good game. Well played. It's the correct response. Actually, it's the correct. Did he not have a... Oh, Dyer has no vision. Oh. <laughs> oh, the sight of the infamous J-Stone feed right here. <laughs> Dyer has reoccupied it. Got Sven. I completely forgot about Sven. We've got a SNY Mask of Madness Blink Dagger Sven. I hear the blink's really useful when you don't blink stun any enemy heroes. Like I hear you get you buy blink daggers so you can just run around and farm. Looks like he's about to feed too. Oh my god, they have no Oh, they just missed each other. Oh my god, that was so dirty. He just juked so hard and he didn't even know it. Arrow coming in, kills the coddle because the coddle's worthless here. Oh, look at that coddle. Oh, oh, the teamwork, teamwork. You got the weaver sand front, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right. 6k net worth feet, or uh, lead for Radiant at 30 minutes. A 10k XP lead. There you go, Jenks. Get him, Jenks. Oh, no. Oh, he runs away. Jenks. He's got no vision up there. We've got... Oh, got action mid. Sunstrike into the hook. Oh, it's classic. Sven's getting involved, though. 
You want to get the fuck out of Dodge there. Let's see if we can get the armor toggles. Oh, Jinx coming in. Jinx coming in. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, the hook is just fucking nasty. Oh, the deafening blast. Sven, you can't attack, bro. He's trying to run away now. Radiance running. Oh, oh, pretty boy taunt. Keep it going, dude. Why you stop the taunt? Why you stop the taunt? Oh my god, he had it. He had it. Did you guys see him? He was taunting right here. That's, he, he was watching some filibuster replays. Always, always with the efficiency taunts when possible. I feel like that is a very undervalued. We have Coddle coming in to be useless, taking his carries farm. Not even taking farm because he sucks. Dick. Nice Arcana. Fucking rare item. Pussy. Fucking hate Coddle. Oh, we've got another hook into the dismember. Oh, pretty boy's crazy. Oh, the leap forward from the Marana puts him on the front of the Bristleback so the double Starfall hit lands. Very good combination and usage of spells. However, hitting a backdoor protected tier 2, not necessarily very efficient there. <laughs> Mr. Clean. <laughs> Deciding that Jason doesn't deserve the urn, decides to give the urn to the rotting punch instead, so it instantly cancels. Cotto being useless once again. I am just so excited I get to watch Cotto die over and over again. How many deaths is that? Seven. Oh my god. Seven deaths. Cotto six on the bristleback. Ooh, Jenks going down again, though, to Sven. Sven potentially be an issue with the BKB. However, Dyer just lets their barracks go down. TA's down. Oh, Bristle, it's a disaster. Can I do chat wheel? I can't do chat wheel things, can I? Fuck me. Should be able to do chat wheels, broadcaster. Adam wants it. Oh, he gets it too, he gets it. Finally has the Lincolns and the Deso. He went ball. See what he decides to do. I personally, at this point, you're far enough ahead. Well, yeah, you're far enough ahead where you just need to outlast anything they throw at you. Like, if Sven's for some reason able to get on you, the TA's for some reason able to get on you for some reason, like that's able to happen, like a full length net, which shouldn't happen, but it could. You have a heart, and then you just click this button, and then that backtracks all your damage, and then you kill. All these squishy heroes, look at this guy. Not that guy. That guy's pretty. 13, 1400 HPs. Four staff and trinkle bits. It's two hits. Two hits from a weaver. Three. Nah, he's probably third or fourth. That goddamn Rast is actually pretty fucking tanky. Holy shite. Coddle, 1000 HP at 33 minutes into the game. What the fuck? How much does Sunstrike do? Okay. 537 pure damage. So it is 537 pure damage. It takes half of Coddle's HP with the Sun Strike. Oh. Oh, pretty boy trying to punish with the hook into this member. Useless hero dead again. That's so funny. I love watching Coddle die. Oh, we got a charge onto the TA. TA thinks she's out of it, but she's not. She can still blink. Oh, the arrow! <laughs> Is there a hashtag? I can't believe he doesn't all chat the hash. The, the, it's nervous. He's nervous. See, that's 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 nerves right there. Afraid the hashtag the J stand data. Dire with an observer ward losing, yet has an observer ward here, an observer ward here, an observer ward here. Radiant with two sentries and an observer ward up here. I suppose that's about all you need. They did Roche. Pretty easy Roche. Aegis on the Weaver. Probably would have given that to the Marana. Spirit Breaker. Is Weaver dying at all? Oh, going up. Going up. Oh, the ulti on. Oh my god. That's just. Probably would have given that to the Pudge, actually. Holy shit. Definitely would have given that to the Pudge. Damn. 22 flesh sheep, 3300 HP. This is why Pudge is the strongest late game here in the game. 
35 minutes. If shit went down, this game went 20 minutes, 30 minutes longer, you'd have 6k HP. Guaranteed. One heart. Scepter heart, 6k HP. Oh, he tried to blink into the arrow and he gets pinged. He can't even blink in the arrow himself. We got the Sven. He means business. Oh, the charge disrupts the Sven, though. Oh, he's sacking him, distracting everyone while they're cutting the Sven, though. Those armatiles are close. It's close, Mr. Queen. Oh, my God. No detection. So he just walks up and does nothing. Ah! Oh, and Jenks with the meteor, he has, after he deafening blast, there's no damage from the Sven. Sven did no damage. He, oh my god, and he even stuns into a Lincoln. Zero damage, Sven. Can I? I wish they could fucking see this two minutes into the future. Oh, and then he gets arrowed. Oh, what a fucking scrub. He doesn't ulti. Why do you not click your ultimate ability, man? Click the ultimate ability. <laughs> then it comes back off cooldown soon. Nice. Does it there. It's back. It's all his health back. Chris back. Coming out. Oh. Is there a radiance? Oh, he does have a radiance. It's chaos. Pure chaos. TA going down to Adam. So much damage. Good shit. Juking around, juking around. Wonder what's going on here. They're trying to kite. They're saving their barracks. Big barracks defense. We've got a radiant courier casually sitting at Roche Pit. And they finally realized that as well. He's on the way back. They still want to push. Three down, they say. Cottle's dead. Oh, we got a net. We got a net. On, I don't think you can kill him. There you go. There you go. Adam. Dive that. Dive that. There you go. There you go. Oh my god. Get him a flesh sheet from Pudge. Does Pudge want it? Why does he not keep hooking? Keep hooking, Pudge. You got it, dude. Get that coddle. Oh, he wants to blink. He wants to blink. Oh, Sven come back in with the ulti. Let's see if he can do some more hits now. Oh, he's hitting the invoke, that's for sure. But the force staff. Oh, and the ghost walk Sven walking around doing nothing again. Attack the Weaver, or not, not the Weaver, the Spear Breaker getting the kill. Alright. Weaver hitting the barracks. Weaver getting attacked twice. Weaver with ultimate ability. Still off cooldown. It does not use. Just cooldown on ultimate. 40 seconds. It's not too bad. Probably one of the shorter ultimate abilities in the game, I think. Especially with mana regen, you never have any mana issues. And I, well, what am I saying? Level 16 is zero mana. Zero mana cost. You might as well just spam it out. Use it to get kills, you know. Beta men. Got J Stone with the Lincoln's Mule near Phase Boots. Oh, going on the Pudge. Pudge pretty big, but not that big. Oh, they're getting him. He breaks the Lincoln's. Big plays, do they have enough? Do they have detection is the question. He's about to ulti here. No detection. Oh, scrubs. You guys suck. Oh, carries. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Wand. Wand. Bottle. Bottle. No TP. No dust. Bottle is pretty fucking important. That 150 HP you just got there is going to do a lot for you. We've got Sven here with a wand. It's not too bad because you got many issues. But... No dust. Blink dagger, right? You're blinking on someone. Probably want dust to follow up if they're invisible, I would assume. Still just one racks down. It's exposed. Unhealable damage on the range barracks. Melee's healed back up. Big Jenks Invoker. Still in the net worth lead, barely. Adam, close behind. Sven trying desperately to carry Dire and Definitely a 25 gold lead, 25k gold lead there. Now see, this is like the part where I, I guess they're just waiting Roche, but honestly, with the 25k gold lead, five people should be able to group up and push a barracks. I don't know. I guess the pros were going for Roche at 25k. Got a charge? Oh, it's a fake charge. Baiting. It's all Jinx around, or uh, clean around a little bit.
see what it does. Oh, we got an arrow nearby. It's just barely missed. Probably not by much if it's chased down. I shouldn't say that. Facetiously, at least. Let's hit some pretty good arrows. Coddle being useful. Oh, we got a fishing arrow. Just casually walks up, goes after the coddle because coddle's use useless. You see how fucking useless that hero is? Oh, look at the bristleback. Died as well. So much damage. Mjolnir damage. That's pretty cool. Oh, the net in there. Just fight him! You're so big! You are big. Go fight. Dodge the spin, though. You don't want to take his shit. Look at that. No, don't run away. Don't run away. Fight! Fight! Oh, they're going for the barracks. Okay, they're going for the barracks. So big right now. 1,200 HP against 12. Look at that. There you go. There you go. Go get him. So good. Yeah, keep fighting. Three hit him. Oh, my God. So much. Meanwhile, TA just gets gutted by the invoker. This is turning into, or has turned into quite the rough stone. We've got, let's take a look at the court, 12, 0, and 14 Weaver. Maybe he was just trying to protect his uh, zero deaths, I suppose. Level 25. What did he go for? Did he get the... Did he get the did Two Divine Rapiers. Nice. See, that's that's how you go out in style right there. The Shikuchi move speed. Let's take a look at... Let's take a look at uh, Weaver here. Can he get any kills? Sven's in there. You've got the rapiers. Just kill him. Oh, he wanted two alive. Oh, Pudge's going in. Oh my god, he's just killing him. Where's the blade mail? No blade mail pickup from Dire. No, they don't want the rapiers. Oh my god. He use your fucking ultimate goddamn ability. Ah! Ah! Switch your hero's face around. Ah! Other than that, great game from Radiant. Great game. Great game. All around domination. The, the arrows 16, 3, and 20. Marana landing arrows. We've got Pretty Boy on the Pudge dropping mad hooks. We've got Big Jenks on the Invoker. 3, 3, and 15. Not doing much, but you know, he's pushing lanes out and he's keeping his net worth up. He was there when it counted. Got Adam 14, 1, 16, should be, you know, 0 and 16 really, but you had to go and feed the rapiers, it's commendable. Got clean, 23, the most assists in the game. And clean right there, spirit breaker, making shit happen. Take a look at the graph, see a steady increase there, it's just ganks, you know, can, you, can we see the, in there somewhere, you can see all the ganks and shit. Damn, I thought there was a way. Coddle. Let's see how many times Coddle died. Twelve deaths from Coddle. Look at that. <laughs> Everyone else not too far behind. That Coddle's a scrub. Coddle's a scrub hero. 3,400 net worth on a hero that can farm creeps from the start. Laughable. Absolutely laughable. 179 GPM. Deserved. Oh my god. Support items. Five centuries. Jaystone contributing in a big way, even though he was a sport turned carry. Pretty boy with the 12 observers. Which is what their co coddle did. So, Pudge with the five smokes. Look at that. We've got clean with support items as well. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Well, I think that's about going to do it. Fast hits. Got got some pretty decent spread here. I mean, honestly, like, these guys are farming a lot better. Dire was farming a lot better than Radiant, like Creeps, but Radiant's killing. Got those killing heroes. Pudge is essentially always looking for kills. Maron always looking for kills. Spearbreaker always looking for kills. These lines generally don't work out when you have, like, single target roaming kill seekers that want to be off the map and like surprise heroes like three of them on one team that's pretty crazy 
But that's what you do. That's what you do sometimes. Alright guys. It's been good. It's a good pub scrub matchup. A lot of scrub plays. I think MVP of scrub nasty just dog shit tier fucking plays was the Murata feed at the bottom rune. But, you know, sometimes those things happen to allow the greater things to happen. So I'll catch you guys later. It's been good. Uh, see y'all next time.